I founded a, a company and ran it for eight years in Silicon Valley, I mentioned before called Mind Center. And we were doing mostly brainwave biofeedback training. And it was one of the experiences that helped me to understand our role in this spectrum of consciousness at a more useful level. And let me see if I can just kind of summarize this very succinctly. Consider the entire electromagnetic vibrational spectrum from things that you can't even hear because the waves are so slow to things that you can't see because it's, you know, X-ray and, and ultraviolet and all that, that stuff. And we live as humans, what we perceive with our senses is a tiny little bit on that, that kind of rainbow of frequencies. And when people would come and do our brainwave training, if they were sufficiently skilled with relaxing their body and allowing their emotions to flow, then they would go into the brainwave training. And for any of you who are not familiar with it, the, the, the four kind of classical states are beta 13 to 30 cycles per second, which is when you're active and your eyes open and you're going around doing things. And then, but, but if you relax, you go into a more creative state, that's alpha, eight to 13 cycles per second. And that's mostly what we taught. That was our beginner's course. And people who got really good at that could then go into theta. And that's a much more meditative a state where the yogis and the Zen masters and the psychics, they can go down to four to seven cycles per second. Most of us just fall asleep if we go there, but they can go there and stay there because they practiced it. And some of the real adepts could even go to Delta, which is zero to four cycles per second, which is where you're asleep, for most people asleep and not dreaming. And some of the psychics could go there and talk to me and, and do, do various psychic uh, tasks while they were their brain waves were like two cycles per second, which is just super slow. Uh, and then re more recently, actually, since I sold that company, the, they've discovered this gamma. We had been hearing rumors about it, but now they, they found that there's really high frequencies, 30 to 100 cycles per second, and it tends to come in as a partner to the theta. In other words, when you can really slow your brain waves and stay awake, then what happens is, is it awakens these higher frequencies at the same time. It's like a, a kind of a geometric dual in your consciousness. But my point in bringing this up, when you're asleep, and we all need sleep in order to survive, when you're asleep, you go into the slower brainwave states. And first of all, you dream in, in theta, in the, the REM sleep. And the dreams are a critical part of just kind of healing your psyche. And then, but you also have to go below down into where you've just reversed the polarity of your body, reverse the polarity of every cell, and you're just drawing energy in as opposed to putting energy out like when, when you're in beta. And right in the middle of that is the this frequency about 7.8 cycles per second where it's we found it's the portal if you can go there and maintain that consciously these other realms start to open up and i've consulted with many meditative adepts and they all agree they just usually hadn't measured it but they all say yeah there's that doorway that you need to earn through your practice and then you can start exploring all sorts of other realms because you're not bound by the, the frequencies of your physicalness. So then I, I started comparing the, brain, the brainwave experience with the meditation. And I noticed, yeah, same thing, that, that it really correlated, the slower states correlated with particular states that I'd become familiar with in meditation. And when I measured them, sure enough, they were, they were the same. And then in, in plant medicine, or psychedelic experience, you, there's a tendency once you learn to go into harmony with the, the, the chemicals, you can go into these altered states as well and explore these other realms. And they're not physical, but they're very real. They're just not in the frequencies that we, that we can touch and, and see and hear and so forth with our, our physical senses. So I began to see that the key is going, in terms of working on your consciousness, is going into these slower states consciously. And in order to do that, you need to learn to relax your physical body. And you need to learn to let go of your emotions. And then to open your mind and focus your mind at the same time. Those are the, those are the basics. And then the, all these other realms open up. And, you know, yogis and Zen priests and so forth have been doing this for literally thousands of years. 
Um, and so it's, we're all doing the same thing, whatever we call it, we're all in the same unified field and the same frequencies have the same type of, of capabilities. So there's really a there's scientific measurement as well as scientific facilitation that validates and facilitates why to bother doing this because you expand your, your consciousness capabilities, you expand your, your identity, who you know yourself to be, 